Welcome back my beauty squad. How you been? If you're new, it's your girl Jessica. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there, down there. It's in one of those corners. Turn your bell on. That way you're notified any and every time I upload new videos. You don't want to miss what's coming up. So today, as you can see, I have a complete face. That was not the plan. This was not what was supposed to happen today. Today it was supposed to be a sit down and try everything in my boxy charm boxy looks with y'all. So y'all could kind of go over with me and see how the products work. And come up with a beautiful look on my face. My phone went retarded y'all and I'm sorry. Let me fix this real fast. There we go. Like, it, it, it went retarded. I was filming, doing what I had to do, mid-video. It took on a mind of its own. It was like, nope. Nope. Not no more. Boom. Stopped. Mid-video. So, I already had half of this done. I went ahead and finished it up. Finished using all the products that was in our box. So, I can sit down and discuss them with y'all. Being, this is the type of video it is now. Which, pro, is y'all yeah, don't have to sit down for 30 minutes and watch me get ready. Con, I'm usually sitting down and getting ready with y'all. So, before we get into any of the product products, I want to go over the Fresh Soy Face Cleaner. I used this last night to take off my makeup. This bad boy works. If my camera will focus... It smells amazing and it breaks down your mascara like nobody's business I have several cleaners that are for waterproof and mascara and stuff nothing takes it off like this it's $48 would your girl pay $48 for a face cleaner probably not but I'm very happy that we got it in our box. This is going to be something I reach for every time I go to take my makeup off. That way I have no fuss. Because it literally took me less than five minutes to take everything off. Yes, I didn't have no eyeliner on last night. But it took my mascara off like nobody's business. Like, huh. I did not get a chance to use this. I promise y'all I will and I will let y'all know like how it works when I leave my hair down and want it curly I just once I get out of the shower I just leave it like it is and throw some hair oil in it and brush it out and that's it I don't dry it at all I try not to push my hair no more than what I've already have I've dyed it please at least 50 different colors throughout my young, long years of life. Blah, blah, blah. I can't get the words out today. So, my hair is hard headed. I'm half Cherokee. It's very frizzy. It's very bushy. It's very thick. And it don't like me. So, that's normally why you always see me having it up. It's just a lot easier to deal with because it's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair. So y'all see me sitting here touching it the whole video because I never have it down. And then, once I sat down and I was going over everything with y'all, I went ahead and started using this bad boy. It's the Elemis Pro Collagen Face 
Rose Face Oil. This itty bitty, itty bitty, itty bitty bottle, like itty bitty, is $79. That's a lot for oil. So hopefully it works. Now it does have a very strong smell of roses. So if you don't like roses, you will not like this. Just saying. I went in with my rolly, my face beater, <laughs> and just basically rolled all that oil through my face, through my pores, pores, and all that nine yards. I really like how this feels. This oil did leave my skin a little greasy for a while, but it, it did dry down a little bit, so. It's, it's okay, like, it was fine by the time I went to go apply my makeup. Because I, I put my oil on first, then my eyeshadow, then, then my foundation and primer and all that. So by the time I went to go do my primer, it was set down. And it wasn't oily no more. <coughs> Just if you're going to use this, give your face enough time to dry before you do your makeup. Or either dry it with a little fan or however you want to dry it. I use this. This is probably the best smelling item out of our whole box to me. It's just, it smells like beach air. And it literally smells like somebody packed up the beach air and put it in this bottle. And all I did was just spray that through my hair like so. To, act, to help with any moisture just because this is for your body, face, and hair is supposed to help like with your dry ends you're supposed to actually spray it on your hands and rub it through your ends like so That and we will find out if it works. I will keep y'all updated for sure because I'm going to start since last month. I've started kind of keeping wrote down, jotted down what works, what don't work for me, for my face, for my skin. And probably about two, three months, especially like face care and stuff, I can sit down and go over with, with y'all like what didn't work for me and what did work for me just try to help somebody out we used this palette today y'all I don't normally go for, I don't normally reach for blues and I'm glad I did like it is beautiful I love how these blend together. I love how this palette worked. I love how the mattes laid down. I love how they blended. I love how the shimmers laid down. It's just... It's beautiful. I went in with... Let me turn my lights down just so y'all can see a little better. I think that hit my worst. Went in with this right here. As my transition shade. Then I went in with this top little boy right there. As crease color. Just to give it a little bit of color. Then I went in with Grim. This, the darkest color in the palette. And basically darkened up my V. Patted that in. Bought it over after the brush. Was kind of nothing left on the brush. I bought it in just a little bit. And then I would go back in with a bigger blending brush and just brush over top of it like that back and forth just to blend out everything beautifully and I didn't have no struggles with this eyeshadow y'all like it's it's beautiful beautiful formula it is not that pigmented when I say that this color is as you can tell it was a little patchy at first, 
But once I got it evenly on there, like it blended awesome. And as long as I can build it up, I'm okay. It, I don't like eyeshadows that you can't blend. If you got patchy ass eyeshadow that doesn't blend at all to save your life, then you, I mean you can't do nothing. Looks terrible. These colors blend. Then I have went in and I have put Grim under my eye as well. It just blended it out just a little bit, sm smudged it out. There you go. Then for my shimmer. I use this color right here, Castle, and then Fairies. I use Castle in the middle, and then Fairies on the end. I tried it with my finger first. It didn't really, it went on there, but it didn't go as intense as I wanted it. It works better, these shimmers work better with a brush. I didn't have to wet my brush. I'm pretty sure if I did, it would work better, but they work good with a brush. So I just packed it on there and then, yeah. So, storybook, awesome. I'm really, really stoked that we got this palette. I am going to have to go in and order me some more storybook palettes just because I like the whole concept of how they look like a book. It's beautiful. And now to know that their, palette, their colors work, a double win. Then I went in with my mascara as my Thrive's Cosmetics mascara. This. This is probably the most gifted as product that we got in our box. Just because it says a lot. Usually when a product says it's going to do a lot, you tend to get disappointed. Just saying. Power up. Dual phrase setting mist. Helps to set makeup, energize, and revive skin. Filters away dull, tired, and stressed out complexion. My face still looks stressed out. And it's dull. 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 Duh. Dull. Duh. Dull. Blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean. And I don't feel no more energetic than when I started my coffee. But the question is, did it set my makeup down? Yeah, it set my makeup down. You gotta shake the crap out of it. And just put it all over your face. Like so. It has a funky smell. It smells. It's the aloe in it. That's what it is. It's the aloe. When I use setting spray, I normally go in with my beauty sponge and I will pat the setting spray down to set it just because I have very textured skin and that helps make it less cakey. As a highlighter, I, unfortunately, I really, really hate it. And this is something I'm going to have to start doing. Anytime that I think an item is not going to work for me, I'm just going to set it aside for my giveaways for now on out of my boxes. Because I swatched this. And now I can't use it. You know what I mean? Like, my Jeffree Star highlighter, I want to keep... Just because it's something my husband got me, and it's very memoratic, even the box. Like, this is something I'm going to treasure for the rest of my life, just because my husband got it for me. It's our biggest purchase we've ever made for makeup, and we did it for my channel. Like, for, for him to show appreciation and support to my channel. Like, that's the main reason we got the box. And so everything in that box, I was going to keep regardless if I could use it or not. But this, I could have gave it to one of y'all. Like, seriously, it's so beautiful. I really like Colleen uh, London products. I've never been disappointed by anything I've got from them. I love the packaging. Like, it's so bougie. 
beautiful packaging, beautiful highlighter. Just look at that. But it's too dark for my pale white skin. And I should have known that. Should have known it. But now that I swatched it, I can't put it in a giveaway. So I guess I'm just going to have to use it like as an eyeshadow topper or something. Or, I don't know. Might find somebody to give it to that don't mind it being swatched. Just because I don't want to waste the item. I've been getting beauty boxes for a while and I have never wasted an item out of it. I always find somebody or somebody to use it. I have eight kids. Two of my girls are getting up into the makeup thing anyway. My 15 year old and my 12 year old. My 15 year old only wears mascara so she steals all my new mascara. And then my 12 year old, she wants to do the same thing as her mommy. So she's been into watching makeup, watching me, watching anything and everything. I don't let her, let her wear it quite yet. But I will let her come in here and play every once in a while and she's not going nowhere. As a highlighter, being I couldn't use that, yeah, I already know. It smells so good. Y'all see that? just so pretty anytime y'all see me doing makeup on my channel y'all know this is going to be my go-to highlighter for now probably for a good while oh, what I'm even trying to say it is just so pretty just so pretty lip gloss our Too Faced Crazy Rich Very beautiful color. I love the packaging. Which Too Faced is very bougie packaging. Like very beautiful packaging. <laughs> but it's not... It's a lip gloss, so it's going to be sticky, and I don't really tend to reach for stickiness. Like, I love them as a topper, and I will put them on, and then they will wear off. And so I usually always have a nude lip, and so most of the time I try to skip that whole part of lip gloss, lipstick. Just because I, whenever I do put it on, it always wears right off. From drinking or whatever. So, y'all, this is my shortest video ever. What? We're getting there. I'm working on it. Try. It's going to be so much better. I mean it, y'all. So much better. Once I get a new phone. So much better. So please, 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 you like this content right here, subscribe, share it, let everybody know. Once I get to 100, I'm doing giveaway, my first giveaway, but not my last, I promise. So please, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell on so you're notified for any future content, and there's going to be plenty, I promise. I still got a couple more things supposed to be coming in the mail this month. Plus, I want to sit down and play with the makeup a little bit more. Go over some more things. 
Please subscribe. Pretty Please is free. And it shows so much support to your girl. Much love. Make sure you hit that like button on your way out if you like this content. For any other ideas, any other videos y'all would like to see me do, anything y'all would like me to try out, leave a comment below. I don't know unless you tell me. So, I love communicating with y'all. I love it. Like, it, it's, it's amazing to sit down and talk to my subscribers, like, my family, my squad, y'all mean the world to me, and this is an amazing, amazing whole roller coaster that I'm on, and y'all here to join it, so, much love. Till the next time, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell, make sure you hit a like on your way out, support your girl, it's free. Please, bye.